Anderson, and they faced each other in this game before. Steph is a power ball virgin, and with Enigma, she's about to be initiated. Panthers roaming, taking down anyone she wants. seconds of pain starts now and if that is slammed down and so is Steph these gladiators really mean business tonight if that grabs a ball and she's facing double trouble meanwhile Steph and Enigma one-on-one -on -one, and Enigma takes it down Anderson has a hold of Yvette and Panther joins in too a near miss for her with two gladiators gunning for you it's very hard to score now it's Steph's turn to find out and that must have hurt if that hits the floor again, that's the halfway point, still no score. Wolf happy with his girls so far. Remember, it's two points for a ball in the outer pods, five for the middle pod. And if that is slammed down mercilessly, referee John finding himself right in the thick of it. Steph makes another run for it, but she's down. Under 10 seconds left. If they want to score, they'll have to do so now. Yvette trying to break away from Amazon, and she's been pushed out of play, but she still scores in the dying moments. I'm not sure it'll count, though. Whoa! What a hard game! So, John, you got something to say about that? What's happening? Red contender did, in fact, go out of bounds completely. So, regrettably, that does not count. Unlucky, Yvette. I enjoyed it, and I'm, I'm proud of me. So. OK. It's a very, very tough game. Didn't score any points by the end of the day. I had an enigma today, and mm. she had, she's had me on three events now, so she had to get one right. But well done. Next is the eliminator, which will decide which of you are going to get through to the semi-finals. Good luck, girls. Steph goes into the first quarter-final eliminator with a two-second head start. It's the boys' turn on Powerball, and they're facing this big bunch of brawn. It's Spartan, Doom, and Oblivion! It's the first Powerball outing for both contenders, and Dan is trailing Chris by four points. Dan's facing Spartan, Chris is head-to-head -head with Doom. Oblivion has free reign to cause as much chaos as he can. Go. Both boys really need to pick up some points here. And Dan is off to a great start. He evades Spartan and scores two points. Chris not so lucky. Shut down by Doom. Spartan's woken up now. He's not prepared to let Dan score again. And two points for Chris. But where's Dan going? He should be restarting at the other side, so that may not count. Chris makes another run for it and scores. Two more points for him. Dan is slammed really hard. It's tough out there. Chris. Tasting the same pain. That's two in a row for the big O. Good run from Dan, who sinks home for another two points. Chris twisting and turning. Doom and big O having none of it. Both these boys looking tired now. 60 seconds is a long time in Powerball, especially today. These gladiators have been unforgiving. This is their final chance to score. Chris looks like he's given up. He's got no fight left at all. It has been a hard battle, though. And there's the final whistle. What a punishing game of Powerball for the contenders. A great performance by the Gladiators, though. Oh, boys, it was a tough battle. But, Chris, did you enjoy that? Four points? It was all right, four points. Uh, quite happy with that. Damn, you only get four points, not six points, because you went the same way twice. Are you feeling all right? Are you happy with that? I mean, yeah, four points. I'm happy with that. OK, so. let's bring in the boys. Come on, boys, over here. Oh, there they go. Oblivion, please. Yes. I hand the mic to you. You've usually got something to say. Let's talk about facts, shall we, Caroline? Fact! Every time the big O was in play, they got nowhere near and they just tasted the dirt. Oh, go top up your tan. Well done to our contenders. Let's take a look at the men's final scores before the Eliminator. 18 points to 14 means Chris will have a two-second head start in the Eliminator. What a quarter-final we've had so far. Awesome. All our contenders have fought so well considering the pressure they're under to reach the semi. But now it cranks up another notch as after the break, our contenders go head-to-head -head on the nightmare that is the Eliminator. Oh, Gladiator! <laughs> Welcome back to Gladiator! It's crunch time in the Gladiator!
Gladiators Arena, our four quarterfinalists, are about to start the biggest race of their lives on the dreaded Eliminator. The Eliminator. So, Eva, you've got six points tonight compared to Steph's ten. You will be starting the Eliminator two seconds behind. I'm fine, that's fine. You know, I'm still confident mm. that I'll do a good job. It's all or nothing tonight. OK, so, Steph, you've got a two-second head start. Is that enough? To be honest, no time is ever enough because at the end mm. of the day you can make any mistake, any mistake, mm -hmm. and it can take you right out of it. Now, the winner of the Eliminator will definitely go through to the semi-finals, but there's also a place up for grabs for the fastest losing Eliminator time from the three quarterfinals. So your time is really important. Even if you don't win, do not give up, ladies. The first quarterfinal Eliminator. Both girls just one event away from winning a place in the semi-final and a chance to grab a share of £50,000. And it's not just winner takes all, because the fastest female loser out of all the quarterfinals will secure a place in the semis. There's so much at stake here. Yvette, you'll go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. And steps away, a great start. There's the whistle for Yvette. Looks like a really strong swim from Steph. You can see the gap. Yvette already has to claw back. Steps on the cargo net and starts her dreaded climb. Both contenders' families cheering them on. Step nearing the top, but Yvette is racing up the ropes and she's practically level now. And Steph seems to be struggling at the top. Now they're neck and neck. Yvette's threatening to take this from Steph. Both of them making a slow descent. And Steph's actually fallen down the net. So Yvette has snatched the lead and she's going great guns. Steph's not finished though, not by a long shot. Can Yvette hold on to her lead as they reach the monkey bars? This is where the arms start to burn, but look at Steph powering across, coming back really strongly. It's the youngest female contender against the oldest and it's impossible to know who's going to win this. Yvette just has the edge as they clamber up the pyramid. Nothing in it though. Yvette onto the zip wire, but Steph is right behind her, and they're both looking so strong. Yvette lands first, just the energy sapping Travelay to left. Steph's mum willing her on, but Yvette is on the home straight and powers up the Travelator. Oh, but she's gone, she's fallen. Steph right behind her, it's hers to snatch now, but she's gone as well. Yvette prepares for a second run. She's not giving up, but she has stumbled. And it has beaten it again. Well, this is what the Eliminator's all about, a fight to the finish. As Steph makes her second attempt, she's at the top. And another dive, again she's defeated. Well, both girls want this so badly. Whoever finishes first will win that place in the semi-final. But who'll finish first? Both of them exhausted. Yvette attacks the Travelator for a third time, but her legs have gone. In the quarterfinals, this Travelator is harder and faster than ever before, and it's taking its toll as Steph powers up now. Mum and Dad screaming, surely she'll do it this time. Oh, no! The agony these two must be going through, both so near yet so far, and after three failed attempts, John Coyle signals for the Travelator to be slowed down. Their fourth attempt, they'll take it together. A fight to the finish, and it looks like Steph this time. Yes, Steph finally makes it to the top. If that is broken, Steph is through to the semi-finals, and she's earned it. What a finish. So much determination from both contenders. The whole arena willing Yvette to beat this beast. Come on, Yvette. Her fifth attempt. I can't believe she's still standing. What a contender. She's at the top, but she can't. She just can't do it. And that has to be the end for Yvette. How sad. Yes, John Coyle stepped in. The Eliminator has claimed its first victim. Never before has it crushed a contender so much that they couldn't finish. Yvette will not get the chance to win a place in the semi-final as the fastest loser. Steph. Congratulations, Steph. You have won, my darling. You are through to the <laughs> Oh, my God. Really didn't expect that. She's a really, really strong girl, and I really did think that she was going to have me away. I really did. Oh, I've got to say, well done to Steph. Congratulations. And commiserations to Eva. What an eliminator that was. It shows how tough these quarterfinals are.
Now it's the boys' turn to take on this monstrous assault course. Chris starting just two seconds before Dan, both hungry for a place in the semi-final. And remember, there's also a place up for grabs as the fastest male loser from the quarter-finals. Dan, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one! A very good start from Chris, and Dan is off now. A great jump by him as well. A strong swim from both men. Dan closing in on Chris's lead. Chris onto the cargo net, but Dan's joined him. Both attacking the net with real aggression. Chris at the top now, and already on his way down. Dan still chasing. Chris's long legs are ideal for the floor travelator, but Dan's smaller stride could be just as effective. A wide gap between these two now, but the electrician isn't out of the game yet. And look at Dan powering along on the handbike, picking up ground here. This is where the eliminator starts to hurt, but Chris forging ahead. And look at him bounding up the pyramid, the lorry driver's pulling away. Dan's not giving up though, he's feeling the pain but still full of determination as Chris lands safely. Dan desperately following, can he still win this?